keep dissing through Instagram and referring to Drake as a white boy as if that's an insult. Well, now you got a white boy's attention. <laughs> Yo, Jake, chill, Jake. Drake, Jake, he ain't mean it like that, brother. He did not. I promise you, he ain't mean it like that. In 19, I'll shoot him too. He ain't the only one. Loyalty to support the Constitution and would receive a letter stating he's now officially a correctional officer trainee at the South Florida Reception Center. Damn, what that salary Five. said? Another anonymous person claiming to be the baby mother of one of the booby boys stated Ross was never a booby boy and never a dope boy either. But I paid for the transcripts to your court case. Trick Daddy recently accused you of working as a prison guard at one point. Uh -oh. Is there any truth to that? No, that's not true. But that's that's disappointing to hear that he said that. He said that? That's crazy. Rick Ross was lying about being a CO? I ain't know he lied about it. I ain't know that. I ain't know he lied about it. What it is, what it do, it's your boy J Ski Reacts back with another banger. Thank you for pulling up and some time with your boy again. I got another reaction for y'all. Today, I got a special one. I ain't going front. Shout out to that boy 1090 Jake. I ain't going front. 1090 Jake, in my opinion, is becoming the voice of gang hood culture. And I like it in this direction. I like it like this because he's holding these fake gangsters accountable. I'm not calling Rick Ross a fake gangster. I'm not calling nobody a fake gangster. All I'm saying is he putting it out there. He's making y'all understand that anything that glitter ain't gold, bro. Everything y'all see, everything they show you in these music videos, it ain't really that, bro. Shout out to 1090 Jake, man. Before we get into this video, you already know the vibes, roll to 5K subscribers. Make sure y'all hitting that subscribe button, become part of this family. Also, make sure you hit that like button. You can get me in the algorithm, man. Get me upset with the big boys. Show me some love, man. Hopefully 1090 Jake see this video, by the way, too, because I, I really fuck with 1090 Jake. Shout out to 1090 Jake. I'm looking for 10, 15 likes on this video. Hopefully we get that. Now, if we get 10 to 15 likes, I'll, I'll, I'll drop some new shit tomorrow. Show some love like that, man. You can show some love like that. Also, if you're already subscribed to the channel, make sure you hit that bell so you know every single time I post some lit shit just like this one. So without further ado, I ain't gonna talk y'all head off. Let's get straight into this video. The title of this video is Rick Ross, Boss or the Officer? You be the judge, my boy. Let's do it. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of EOS. It's 10 Yeah! This video, we're going to be speaking on Ross, the self-proclaimed kingpin, but actual former corrections officer. No, I can already see from here. From I ain't gonna lie. This nigga, I'm, I'm weak. Like, you know what I mean? Like, it's not even no. That sound like some shit we used to do when I was in the military. Hey, boy, lead the way. You can't put CO in front of that. Stop, stop biting shit, bro. That's our shit, bro. Airborne, bro. Stop, stop doing that, bro. <laughs> but I paid for the transcripts to your court case. Trick Daddy recently accused you of working as a prison guard at one point. Uh -oh. Is there any truth to that? No, that's not true. But that's that's disappointing to hear that he said that. He said that? Like you did 10 years in jail, right? Yeah. How you think about the whole... That's crazy. Rick Ross was lying about being a CO? I ain't know he lied about it. I ain't know that. I ain't know he lied about it. See, but this is why I like 1080 Jake. This is what I'm telling y'all right now. This is literally why I fuck with Tyler and Jake. I didn't know that. I didn't know he lied about it. I've only seen him say, yeah, I was. But he don't really address it, address it. You know what I'm saying? 50 been on him for years about that shit. I never heard the nigga Ross say, nah, that's not true. There's pictures of the nigga in uniform. That's crazy. That's crazy, bro. Pointing to hear that he said that. He said that? Like you did 10 years in jail, right? Yeah. How you think about the whole Rick Ross thing, him being a correctional officer and dealing with correctional officers? Wow. 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 Fake niggas get take up and sit back, use a fake nigga, you make something good back. Now I, now I know you. I, I think it's fair to say um, I know you now. 
was Rick Ross in his lifetime of corrections office? Rick Ross done did it all to get money. I done did it all except set dudes up, put dudes behind bars, and that's what's important to me. It just turned out. Uh, <laughs> so why lie about it? Yo, Ross, I fuck with Ross, bro. Me personally, I fuck with Ross. But Ross, why did you lie about it? You made yourself look worse by lying about it. Now, I'm granted, granted, you good now. You straight now. You good. You a multi-millionaire. You got your land. You got your cows. You got your horses. Everything that I aspire to have, he has right now, right? <clears throat> but why did you lie about it, Ross? Rose? You ain't have to do that. This is why 1090 Jake is important. I never knew that. Right. Or a person that looks like you online who's working as a correctional officer. Oh, it look uh, like you. Is that or is that not Rick Ross in those pictures? That was me in the photos. I'm the truth when your truth just pretend. He got the gun in his hand. Lines with no flow, my mind magnified times five. You lost some Ross. Now bullets are flying in hip hop as back to back disses are being dropped and shots keep getting fired. At this point, it seems like Drake versus everybody, but one person Facts. in particular is standing out. Yeah, because he G'd up. Drop an immediate response to Drake. He G'd up and he could rap. This, but that isn't what's got my attention. Ross would keep dissing through Instagram and referring to Drake as a white boy as if that's an insult. Well, now you got a white boy's attention. <laughs> Yo, Jake, 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 he ain't mean it like that, brother. He did not. I promise you, he ain't mean it like that. Hold on, wifey calling me. Hello? Yeah, I'm recording right now, Ma. What's up? Okay, bye. You, you yelling? All right, I love you, bye. Hey, let me say bye. Your boys don't know nothing about that, my boy. They ain't got no bitches. <clears throat> the biggest boss of Miami. The hustler who knew Pablo and Noriega. He knew them? He, that's what he said. He said he knew Beach. them. Larry Hoover. Jake, why? Everybody <laughs> forgot he was. Jake said, white boy. Jake said, now you got a white boy in your case now. Damn. Fucking CO. I respect it. <laughs> Nah, I lead though. Got the fat nigga in the front. Lead though, no way. He released the <laughs> Ross in uniform, and he'd speak exclusively with all hip hop stating, "My life is a hundred percent real." These online hackers putting a picture of my face when I was a teenager in high school on other people's body. If this shit was real, don't you think they would have more specifics, Ross, like wow. dates and everything? So a then thirty-two-year-old Ross claimed the pic was photoshopped. His kingpin lifestyle was real, and there was no proof behind the CO allegations. Well, a media website by the name of The Smoking Gun would send in a public records request receiving oh. 86 pages from the Florida Department of Corrections. Hey, department, that's my nigga. Boston, real Boston nigga. <clears throat> a photo of William Roberts, aka Rick Ross's State of Florida application, would state he received his diploma from Miami Carroll City High and went on to Albany State University to study criminal justice. Straight up. On his supplementary application, he stated his nickname was Big East and denied knowing anyone in prison along with never working in prison or in law enforcement. Now with every new recruit, the Department of Corrections wants to know how willing you are to complete your correctional duties. Ross would check off he's willing to work rotating shifts, carry a fire <laughs> yo, and work with violent inmates. Yo, this nigga, 1090 Jake know exactly what the application said, bro. This is the paperwork king. He the paperwork king. If you think you're going to hide your past from 1090 Jake or from anybody, he's going to expose you, gang. Don't even try it. At this point, especially 2024 anyway. Like, you, 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 you stupid if you think you're going to, like... <clears throat> really, like all just aside, if you think you're gonna expose niggas, bro, it's a rap for that shit, bro. Niggas, they, we can find anything. Niggas can find anything, not me. I mean, 1090 Jake is just a, a, a animal at this shit, bro. Homosexuals, <clears throat> etc. He'd also state he's willing to shoot an inmate who's attempting to escape. Body search a right. male or female. <laughs> me too. <and laughs> me too. <laughs> In 19. I shoot him too. He ain't the only one. Loyalty to support the Constitution and would receive a letter stating he's now officially a correctional officer trainee at the South Florida Reception Center. Damn, what that salary said? A correct...
Your salary, damn. <clears throat> Effective December 29th, 1995, your salary will be $881.29. I look forward to having you as an employee at South Florida Reception Center and hope that our relationship will be productive, satisfying, and long-lasting. Sincerely. Damn, Marta Villacorta. That sound like some Miami shit. <laughs> that sound like a Miami bitch, bro. <laughs> Marta Villacorta. That's some real Miami shit. I ain't gonna lie. They got all of this. You might as well. It's a wrap, bro. You getting exposed, bro. I wouldn't even lie on the internet no more. That's why I just be honest. I tell the truth, even if it hurt people's feelings. I just say it. You know what I'm saying? Because you're not gonna catch me in no bullshit lies, bro. Eight, but a salary of eight hundred eighty-one dollars, bro. That's crazy. That must be a month, bro. I don't know. That it better not be no year. <clears throat> Five months later, it was now nineteen ninety-six. And Ross would receive an award for completing 540 hours of basic training. Damn. Ross was now an official corrections officer and can be seen taking a picture at his graduation ceremony. Four months later, he'd receive a certificate of appreciation for perfect attendance from the same woman he can be seen shaking hands with at his ceremony. My son was standing on business. Actually, Can't be mad at that. Can't be mad at that. Rose was standing on business. He was, not only was he, this is, but I ain't gonna lie, this is the definition of a true boss, though. The lion shit really gets you knocked off, bro. But that, he, he stood on business. He was a good worker, perfect attendance. He ain't play games. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> good things must come to hey, an Papa. end. And in June of What's 1997, up, Ricky Rose sent in a What's resignation up, letter and officially left the force. Why? Wow. Like I said, this isn't new news. This came out back in 2008, and 50 Cent started calling Ross Officer Ricky in 2009. Damn, that same son. year, Rick Ross would admit to Double XL it was in oh. fact him in the pictures. He'd state. Me not answering or addressing that situation has nothing to do with my career. I've accomplished enough and I've made enough money for me to be good. Yes, it was me in those pictures, but I'm going to tell you this. Me taking that job, I was doing my job. You understand what I mean? He continued. He's trying to make it a boss move. He's trying to make it like, yo, look, my job, I had to do that. I, I had a role to play and I played it. You know what I mean, basically saying like, yo, I was a dirty CEO. He tried to basically say he was a dirty CEO. Now, whether that's here nor there, he only worked it for two years. I wonder why. He resigned. He resigned. So maybe he his job was to just look after somebody while he was in there. It might be Cap, bro. I'm, I'm saying this Cap, bro. He he was on a straight and narrow, and then, you know, obviously he found a certain path, and, you know, he had to, like, realign himself and really reevaluate the course he's on. Like, yo, in the streets, they're not going to accept that. You're a correctional officer, gang. They don't even care if you're a dirty one. He basically what he's insinuating is he was a dirty correctional officer. But they not eating that, bro. They not having that. <clears throat> the dope is real and the gun talk is official. But fans would forever speculate when exactly was Rick Ross in the streets serving bricks? Mm -hmm. In an interview with the Full Send podcast, the alleged kingpin was asked about his time as a corrections officer in Florida State Prison. Were you a correctional officer at one point? I was, yeah. So going all the way back, when was that? How long ago? Um, maybe when I was 20. 20 years old? Yeah. What what kind of people were in there? You know, I, I didn't really get to make it to the, the prison. Because mm -hmm. you got to go through training and all that, and I didn't last long. Right. I may have last four months. Right. Before they said, uh, you know. Yeah. See, I... Uh, uh, hold on, let me see Mm -hmm. Now Ross claimed he Bro, he was he just said he was tardy with the paperwork. He got awards. He was there for two years. He got awards stating, right, that he had perfect attendance. Ross, brother, I'm a Rick Ross fan, brother. It ain't it ain't looking good, bro. You still lying. You still lying, Ross. Come on, man. Said uh, you know. Yeah. I was a little tardy. Mm -hmm. Now Ross claimed he only worked the job for four months and never made it to a real prison because he didn't even complete training from being tardy so much. But this is the same Ross that received a certificate of appreciation for never missing a day. He'd work as a CEO for 18 months at the South Florida Reception Center in Miami. Facts. This was the first stop for any inmate entering the prison system from Miami, Broward, Palm Beach, or any other neighboring counties. 
This was very much prison, and the South Florida Reception Center has repeatedly made the news. Like when four C. Bro, how y'all committing crimes in such a beautiful place like Miami, bro? Miami make me just want to be around a beautiful woman. You know, work, do my little job, get off, take a nice date, be by the water, nice car. Why y'all committing crimes, killing each other over there? Get the fuck out of here. Go to Brooklyn with that shit. Take that shit to the concrete jungle, nigga. I'm trying to retire out there. Y'all killing and shooting and shit. Take that shit somewhere else, please, nigga. Damn, take it to Jersey or something. Take that shit to fucking Philly or Detroit, please, nigga. God yeah, damn. Me to death. Oh, when 11 inmates died from COVID. But still, Rick Ross got a pass because even if he never sold drugs a day in his life, the music sounded good enough to forget it. Facts. So why still lie Facts. about your old job? Facts. And if you weren't flipping bricks in between criminal justice class and football practice, when did it happen? Apparently in 2008, the same year the pictures were released, Rick Ross was arrested on gun and marijuana charges. The investigation would be assigned to the gang unit task force and transcripts would state the gang unit was given the case because Rick Ross claims affiliation with the Carroll City Cartel. Now, Triple C's, oh. according to Wikipedia, was a hip hop group founded by Rick Ross in 2005. Named after the Carroll City neighborhood of Miami, the group featured Rick Ross, Gunplay, Torch, and Young Breed. The Carroll City Cartel. And Ross didn't shy away from his cartel affiliation because it wasn't an actual cartel. Exactly. The transcripts would also reveal this was actually Ross's first arrest as an adult at 32 years old. So technically speaking, you're not a criminal until you're going caught, backwards, right? bro. And Ross was never caught until after his career already blew up. Aside from marijuana, Ross wouldn't be arrested for anything serious until 2017 when him and his former security guard kidnapped the landscaper by forcing him into a room and pistol whipping him. Didn't that guy die though? Lesser charges is a first time offender and the charges- Bro, this nigga Ross kidnapped his landscaper, bro. Why? Criminal history after paying all fines and completing probation. So maybe Ross was just too smart to get caught with any bricks. Going back to his interview, Ross would state he got his job in corrections after his big homie got in trouble and suggested it. What made you want to do that? One of my big homies, one of my big homies had just got in trouble and a lot of people, a lot of things were going on and he just suggested it. You, you fuck with it or no? Nah, it was, nah, I didn't. Anything you gotta really do and fucking running and jogging and yeah, <laughs> all of that shit, man. The big homie Ross was referring to is none other than Kenneth Booby Williams. Booby was the leader of the Booby Boys, an infamous murderous drug gang that terrorized Miami in the 90s. Marlon officials would state they built a drug empire that smuggled five tons and $85 million worth of cocaine Damn. across 25 Florida cities and 12 states from 1990 to 1998. Excuse me, bro, I'm still sick, y'all. When they were all indicted, the shootings and murder rate literally dropped in four of Miami's worst neighborhoods. According to a Street Stories article, the Boogie up? Boys reached national attention through Rick Ross, who rose to fame in hip-hop's cocaine era, when everybody was rapping about cocaine and selling it. He'd introduced the world to Miami's <clears throat> underworld by wearing a Boogie Boys t-shirt, naming members in his songs, and speaking of them in multiple interviews. When I talk about yeah, yo, when I talk about streets, body counts, that's where I really come from, you know what I'm saying? I came up in Terror City, the heart of Miami, and just so happened in my generation, we had a, a, a good friend of ours by the name of Kenneth Booby Williams, who was featured on America's Most Wanted in 1999. You understand that um, he was accused for over 200 homicides and running an $80 million enterprise. An anonymous person. Yo, 200 homicides is out of control, bro. Over the correction <clears throat> officer controversy, he'd state, Ross ain't no fake cat. He's always been savvy in my experiences crossing paths with him way back in the day. Ross ran with the Booby Boys, who were among the top five gangsters down here in Miami. In Wait, who's saying this? When Booby Boys leader Kenneth Booby Williams got snatched by the feds, 
They also snatched several Miami Dade police officers as well because they were on Boogie's payroll. <coughs> Damn. Ross wasn't no kingpin himself, but close enough because he ran with some real hustlers that touched major work. Streetwise, Rick Ross's back is against the wall. He can't really elaborate on everything because Booby is still dealing with the federal case right now on appeal. The streets know that when Ross was a CO, he was working for Booby on a mission. Now this story would coincide oh, with shit. what Ross said on this full send interview. Okay. But we don't even know who said it because the person was anonymous. Right. And could have been Rick Ross himself or a member of his team. Reading between the lines, this dude was a legend. Ross got a job as a CO to work for Booby in prison. And Booby was a notorious drug gang leader. But the timelines don't even add up. Ross started working in prison in 95 and resigned in 97. The same year some of the Two Booby years. boys got locked <clears throat> up. Then oh. the feds indicted 15 of them in 1999. Damn. Ross's so-called big homie never even made it to Florida State Prison. It would end up in the feds, meaning Ross never came across him while working in state prison. Another anonymous person claiming to be the baby mother of one of the booby boys stated Ross was never a booby boy and never a dope boy either. Everyone connected to Kenneth Booby Williams was arrested and Ross only went to high school with some of the members. She would claim Booby was an inmate at the South Florida Reception Center before going to prison when he recognized Rick Ross and thought he'd be beneficial. But even her story doesn't make sense, as Booby doesn't show up in the Florida Department of Corrections offender search. So again, another story that can't be proven by another anonymous source. Yo. Whether or not Ross promoted the Nah, 1090 Jake don't fuck around, bro. Appearance, Ross would skyrocket in a stardom and rise to legendary status in the state of Florida. Because of that, nobody really gives a fuck if Ross's whole persona was fake right. because he still made it. Right. But apparently Ross That's does true. because he responded to me on Instagram. You know, what do you I say? I post about him lying over how much time he actually did working in prison and he'd respond in a series of Instagram posts stating uh -oh. a rat. He'd show my mugshot in one post and in another a statement. The oh. statement would read, the suspect, Cherry, made several spontaneous statements. You want to know what's crazy? It's funny how much people be coming at 1090 Jake now. I remember hearing about 1090 Jake years ago, before he was like on, on YouTube, bro. I'm talking years ago on some gangster shit. I always hated gangsters, bro. I always hated gangsters, bro. But... One thing I, 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 I would say, if you're going to be a gangster, be like a real gangster. Don't like be like a gangster that you're gangster with us, with black people or with people of your own race. But when police come, you're not with that same energy. Shoot it out with the cops. Nigga, if you're so big and bad, shoot it out with them. Don't let them don't willingly give up. Give, put your hands behind your back like a chump. My, that's always been my vibe. But one thing I heard about 1090 Jake is he really had that smoke for COs. He had that smoke in the streets. Oh, I think he a Boston nigga. I think he from Boston too. You understand what I'm saying? So a lot of us Brooklyn niggas, we always heard about him because, you know, New York really don't fuck with Boston like that. You know what I mean? So it's like, we got like a weird beef. I don't know what the beef is about, but, you know, Boston and New York never liked each other for some, maybe it's a baseball reason. I don't fucking know. But I always heard that 1090 Jake always had that same smoke for law enforcement too. So this is why... Although I don't, I might not like the things he's done. I respect. If you're gonna be a gangster, be the best one you can, right? If you're gonna be a, a good person, be the best good person you can. If you're gonna be a, a killer, be the best killer. Get the most body. You understand know what I'm saying? It sounds crazy, but real shit. I've always heard he was always like that. So this is why, another reason why, because he was really like that, but he had enough smarts and 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 brain power, critical thinking skills to understand that it wasn't lucrative for long-term success or health. Like, he went to YouTube. He, I don't think he's not gangster anymore. I think he's still just as gangster, but he just don't care that much. He Like, he found, um, you know, love doing something else, making YouTube videos, being a content creator. And that's what it's all about, bro. That's why I respect that. I ain't gonna lie. People talk so much shit about him, bro, about him being white. He can't say nigga. I don't give a fuck what he says, bro. He, he's just as gangster as the same motherfuckers that, that, that say nigga now. 
And most of the people that say nigga are not gangsters. And they say it, and nobody got a problem. You gonna tell this nigga not to, like, he won't kill you? It, it, it kills me. It, 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 bro, it kills me, bro. It, like, the logic in, in black people, it kills me. Anyway, that's neither here nor there. Let's get back to the video. That shit, I'm gonna go down the rabbit hole. It's gonna keep going, keep going, keep going. <clears throat> he stated that the gun was in his Shout out to 1090 Alex's Jake, though, because I ain't gonna lie. Orders aside, I got mad love for his channel. He stated that he was shooting the gun in the middle of the street and that he is sorry. He stated he found it in a vacant house that he was using to piss in. He saw a shiny object and reached down and found the gun. Now, Rick Ross would at me, putting multiple rat emojis while adding Drake, saying, White boy, who next? He then made another post writing the same thing. Now, since Ross added me, I now had the ability to DM him. So I sent him a voice message back. Okay. Oh, yeah, you played, Officer Ricky. You played. <laughs> I saved my homie people from getting jammed up before they went inside the house and found that gun and took them off Section 8. I blew that pistol. That was my case. Oh. You played, though. I ain't wake up and put a badge on. You did. Now, I oh. decided to send that to Ross. <laughs> Didn't Ugh. send him the other 25 pages oh. detailing what actually took place. Damn. Now, I admitted I fired the gun, and the gun was mine, to keep anyone else from being charged. Ross charged. made another post Great. on Instagram. Once again, respect. I respect that. You got your minions. What's the other white boy name? P1090. You look like a fucking wet little whale flapping. Shut up. Get mind your business, PM. Man, apologize. Truth is, me and Drake have no ties, <laughs> have never spoke, but he followed me on the gram shortly after Ross's little tirade. Oh. I myself was surprised Ross was so quick to respond to his CO past, as he's changed the story so many times and added new twists, alleging he was pushing weight in prison. Yo, you but see? But apparently it's still... Drake? Oh, shit, nigga, it's a big-ass bug right in front of me. What in the hell? Wapo, kill this bug, bro. What the fuck? This big ass bug, dog. Where did this shit come from? Now, that's just standing. Now, that was like some. Nah, hell no. I gotta kill you. I, I usually I'll try to. Let me keep keep the. Let me keep the keep the violence free. Usually I try to. Yeah, that, you gotta go in the trash, man. Hold on, y'all. <clears throat> that's a big fucking bug right there, bro. Hell no. We ain't playing with bugs. This not this summer. Yep, we ain't doing that, brother. That was a big ass stink bug. I don't know if y'all familiar with that. Carter, you just sat there, you ain't even do your job, my boy. You just let that bug scare me like that? That's crazy. It's a nerve. <sighs> Almost a decade later. I don't fuck with them bugs, man. And like I told Officer Ricky, <laughs> he's the one that decided to wake up and put on a badge. Mm. I know you know Noriega. A real Norway. Oh shit, Ricky's friends are outside. You get him? There they go. Oh man, Ricky's crew. He said he got a $2 million pool in New York City. NYPD. Yeah, 50. I know that y'all know everybody got favorites, and it seems that once you reach a certain level of superstardom or money, nobody really gives a fuck anymore about what used to be or what never happened nobody's gonna care if you never sold dope nobody's gonna care yeah that's true whatever because you already made it right Fake facts. It so you make it it works out how it works out facts i facts. couldn't even find a picture of rick ross and booby together maybe i just didn't recognize dude or whatever but i couldn't even find a picture of them together it was all just ross shouting out his big homie who he ran with, but Ross was never tied into none of the shit that was going on. He was investigated as being a member of the Carroll City Cartel, but obviously they saw he wasn't doing shit except making music, and there was nothing to get Ross on. I refuse to believe he's the smartest criminal. Everybody always says that shit like, oh, I, That's just, true. I didn't get caught. I didn't get caught. <clears throat> Yeah, but I just got lucky. Major guys or in jail. get caught. Facts. Or at least get investigated by the feds, right? Maybe you get lucky enough Fact. to beat that shit. 
But everybody else is getting caught. Now, Rick Ross, when he blew up, it was around the time of everyone rapping about cocaine. It fit the scene. He took off with it. He was the one from Miami that did it. Cool. Come to find out he was a fucking CO, which is crazy. Because at the end of the day, you know, you got a lot of people arguing over the CO. Yo, I ain't gonna lie. Ain't nothing wrong with him being a CO, but lying about it and then claiming gangster or whatever is different. Now, if you were a CO, but you knew you couldn't speak on it, you could have said, yeah, I was a CO. I, I, I had business to handle, straight up, that's it. Can't, don't listen to these niggas. They gonna say what they gonna say. When, when the time come, I speak about it. Time ain't now, though. Respect it. We all got a role to play. Just like that, we all got a role to play. That's how I would've kept it short and sweet. We all got a role to play. But now nah, he lied about it numerous times. Bro, the paperwork is out there. Your graduation, basic training, all your shit is out there, bro. Pictures. The ones that bring us the drugs, and they give us this, and they give us that. They're also the ones that walk in, tell you to hang up on the phone. They don't care if it's your mother, your girlfriend, your kid. It's time to lock down. Imagine Rick Ross walking around, lock down, chow, chow. Imagine that. That's a CEO. I don't give a fuck how much dope they're bringing you because they're putting somebody else in cuffs, taking them to confinement. And this is a fun fact for everybody that's been to prison. You know this is true, especially in the state of Florida. When you get a job there, it's mandatory. Your sergeant is going to press you to put inmates in confinement and write DIs on them. They want to see that you're actively doing your job, which is Damn. fucking with the inmates. Yo, so, I ain't gonna lie. Seeing it from an inmate point of view, uh, not an inmate that loves jail, but an inmate that understands it and doesn't have plans on going back, seeing it from 1090 Jake point of view is like, you know what I'm saying? Because I've been locked up plenty of times. i just never been locked up, locked up, like jail, 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 prison jail type shit. You know what I'm saying? I've never been like in there for a long term. You know what I'm saying? This dude, he been in there for years. So it's always interesting hearing it. Just, I understand that they in jail because they deserve to be in there. But hearing it from his point of view is always like, a, it's like an awakening for me. You, like you hear his stories and how he tell it, his point of view, and it's official. I fucking love it, bro. No, no ditty, bro. There's no way that you're in there moving dope, flipping this, selling that. Facts not putting a bunch of other people away. Right. Because the ones that are really moving shit, they're putting the most people away to cover up their tracks. Yep. Makes sense, right? If you're selling dope in prison, you're not locking anyone up, you don't look a little bit fucking suspicious. So while this guy might be serving you, he's fucking somebody else over. But to be honest with you, none of the shit about him serving anything in prison made any sense to me because you went to college for criminal justice, you got a job, and right. In prison, and then you resigned. Right. Well, everyone you know <clears throat> went into prison. And the thing Facts. is, you were working at a reception center. So even if Booby got sent there, he'd only be there for about six weeks until he got transferred off to a major institution. That's just fact. how reception works. You don't stay there. But let me know y'all's thoughts and opinions. That's a fact. I mean, why so it don't really make sense, bro. It, I ain't gonna lie. He got another point, bro. You're only at reception, so. Making sure you good in reception when I'm only going to be at reception for like a few days. I have to choose a career, bro. I have to follow a career. What what drug lord would make me go to, to, to school for months, months and months and months on end, run, run track, all that shit, eat healthy, all that, just so he can see me when I'm there when he's not going to be there by the time I graduate? What sense does that make? He was already out of there by the time Rick Ross even started working. And Rick Ross was working there for two years. He got 1090, Jake got another fucking point, bro. How much time he actually worked in the Florida Department Shit of Corrections. Shit crazy, son. He proven niggas if wrong. he's so big, it can't even stain his career. Make that make sense. Right. It's 1090, Jake, a rock in the yali, y'all rock. Hey! Another five video by 1090 Jake. Listen, I hope y'all enjoyed this one, man. Mm, this is the end of my video. Hope y'all enjoyed this reaction. Make sure you hit that like button. Hopefully 1090 Jake, if I get a comment from 1090 Jake on this shit, bro, I'll be hype, bro. I ain't gonna front. Make sure y'all hit that like button. Like I said, 10 to 15 likes on this video. If I get a repost, I appreciate y'all for reposting my content. 
Y'all share this with 1090 Jake, let him know I'm a fan. And I love the way his documentary style, love how he break down his shit. Make sure y'all do that, man, all right? Subscribe to the channel, hit the bell so you know whenever I post another five video just like this one. See you on the next one. Ski gang, day one, yeah gang, peace. See you on the next one, I'm out.